There was a story for everybody, it seemed. It, it affected a lot of people in, in different ways. The New York Times uh, decided that they were going to break the Guinness Book of World Records by coming out with the fastest book in, published in history two weeks after the event from start to finish. So they took about half the book, they took about 20 stories that I had written, they took some columns written by our famous columnist, uh, read both Pulitzer Prize columnist uh, Red Smith and Dave Anderson, and cobbled them together and put them in this book, which they called Miracle on Ice, which was the first time I believe the words Miracle on Ice had ever been used in the same, in the same sentence. Near my house, there's a pond that freezes. So I still, I love going out there with my hockey skates, and there's usually a group of other guys out there, and yeah, we, we pretend we're the Miracle on Ice. It was a big moment for, for hockey in, in the U.S. and I think a huge deal around all of hockey, every country, everywhere. It was a special moment and it deserves the recognition. It's one of those uh, great stories, you know, and it, when that becomes real, it's amazing. And I think it's great it passes on from generation to generation. And I think it's almost a miracle, not, not a miracle, but it's, it's almost there, you know. And I think it's good for kids to know that you can actually beat the best even if it's only for one game, it can be done. I think the biggest impact on the culture, especially in our country here, is literally it, it paraphrases anything is possible. There's a reason you play the game. You know, this proves that um, teams might be better on paper and your opponent might be stronger, but there's a reason you play. And this game is, is proof of that. There's incredible life lessons that can be taken from Miracle on Ice. Certainly that teams win and that you can accomplish great things if you're focused and you're tight as a team. I think secondly that if you set an, what seems like an unreachable goal and aspiration and you have a single mindedness to that, that you can accomplish great things. No one believed that the U.S. team could beat the Russian team. Nobody. It's that great American opportunity. If you work hard and give something everything you got, you just might prevail. You, you just, you know, you can change your life. For that moment, you know, it, it, it seemed to be the kind of thing that you could fantasize about, but very rarely see in real life. In 2000, every sports analyst declared that the Miracle on Ice was the greatest sporting event of the 20th century. That was like, yeah, and we were there. The other events that people say, I remember exactly where I was, th those were all tragedies. It's like a piece of American history. And I think it really belongs in the same space as some of these other big, big events.